<laughs> We're good. Um, I had to fix. Don't worry. Um, unfortunately for you, I had to private the VOD. <laughs> so it didn't show. I don't know if I believe you. I'm going to look at it later. But um, I had to private the VOD just in case. <laughs> There's uh, information on the back of that box. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, no, this is for the best. It's fine. I'll cut it out and then I'll post it on YouTube. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, okay. Well, I'm cooking my fancy breakfast now. So. <laughs> anyway, how are you all doing? Very Amy, awesome. Thanks for the subs. Let's call everyone to a, what can I not call to a Grammy? Is that not the fancy breakfast that I wanted? It is. So can I, wait, let me fix my hair really fast too. It's like in my face. Um, the teens have school on Winterfest because I must have like sent everyone or set it to not have a day off. Um, oh, yeah, I did. I must have done that so that uh, I could try and like get further ahead in my career. Um, so that's fine. Cause I'll go do it now. I'll get further ahead in this career as well. We will all go to work on this fine holiday. You know, Bracey, um, I don't like jokes about it. <laughs> um, in fact, it is not my first dox in the new house. I have to deal with this every single day from people trying to do this to me. So I don't really want to joke about me doing it to myself. Um, I know you don't mean any harm, but it's like not funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, oh, it's almost Hayden's time. Yikes. Um, but anyway, anyway, bum, bum. is stream over? Mm, no, I am right here. I am right here. So don't worry. Um, are we done for the evening? No, I'm right here. Can people not see me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Well, that would make sense then. Um, so Alice, Ron, Rev, thanks all for the subs and stuff. Uh, no, you can. I know that you can see me, but I guess some people can't. That would explain why they're saying that. So, um, had to refresh. That makes sense. Um, well, I am here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, okay. Why is Nadia at my house on Christmas, on a school day? Hmm. Hmm. Very odd. <laughs> That's fine. How are you doing at work? Oh, enraged? Oh no, you're never gonna get promoted like this. You won't anyway, because you haven't maxed the skill yet, but yikes. Yikes. You can invite over Isaac. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, the principal is calling. Why? Oh, because my performance is poor. Oh, God. Um, do you want to do a school project? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe you could do yours, too. Yeah, both of you probably should work on these. What? You finished it? How? Why did that- did that glitch and, like, finish it that fast? That can't be right. So. Huh. Yeah, Erin, I know. <laughs> guys, guys, the reason that my stream died is because I turned it off so that I could private the VOD because I was worried that I showed my address on the back of the box. I didn't realize that it was printed on the back too. I pulled the sticker off the front, but I didn't know it was on the back as well. And then I held it up. And so just out of an abundance of caution, I ended my stream and privated the VOD. So I, I know why it paused. <laughs> I know what happened. Um, I didn't realize that it wouldn't like automatically come back for me, come back with me for some of you because I put the stream back on immediately. Um, and, and, um, for some reason it, like, stayed paused for a few of you, but not all of you. It's not a big deal. It's totally fine. Um, but, anyway. Yeah, normally when I, when people go live again on Twitch like that, it, like, automatically restarts the stream. Um, and I'll just show up again. But, for some of you it had to, like, I guess, be refreshed or whatever, so. 
Anyway, <laughs> Cammy, Jesse, Guy, uh, and B, and Sid, and Emily, and Anxious, and Ben, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, but, anyway, oh my god. <laughs> the fact we already talked about it, we gotta talk about it again. <gasps> Storm has a major crush on Isaac? Oh my. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Sounds like fun to me. Um, let me try and put up some Winterfest decorations. And then maybe we could um, buy some gifts, too. She could marry a Waffle. His name is Waffle. Last name Waffle. Um, we'll get a present pile. Open presents with- oh no, we can't do it yet because Grave's not home for practice. Okay, we don't want to open the gifts without him. <laughs> there, he's back now. Okay. That would have been bad. I would have felt bad. Maybe Isaac can join us. So. No, it's no relation to the pancakes. I'm pretty sure that Isaac Waffle is a long lost descendant of a family that one of you all made. Um, that was supposed to be like a play on the pancakes on purpose. Um, so that would be why. <laughs> um, but he's not actually a sin that any of you made. He's like a descendant of one and, um, it's, it's a joke on, about the pancakes, but he isn't actually a pancake. Does that make sense? Um, so opening gifts, tea magic, personal brewer, Celium. What else do we got? Floating box, a carrot. Huh. Let me get a screenshot of this, because I might want it for my thumbnail. That's cute, right? Sure. Sure. Kayla, I have an urgent question. You know, Porta Potty, my love, can I offer some advice? If you actually have an urgent question, why'd you put that first and not just the question? <laughs> Because now I've seen that message, but you haven't put the question yet, and you're making me nervous. Um, <laughs> people are funny. Um, okay, okay. Let's go use the bathroom and take a shower. You could do the same. Oh, replace that, then go sing in the shower. Um, and then we can... Oh, that's wrong. Need to change my thermostat? I might need to. It might be one of the first cold days of the year. And the house is on fire. Please don't light Santa on fire. I'm serious, I'm not asking for much. Please don't light Santa on fire. Like, that's just bad. That is so bad. Do you wanna ask him for a gift? Friendly introduction, come on. Let's do it. Smacks Evergreen, thanks for the subs. <laughs> Oh, Christine, sorry, I won't say it anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I can't fix the thermostat yet because um, I was busy with the incident. Ask for present. Okay, what do I get? A large pet poop because I was on the naughty list? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well... Well... <sighs> I suppose I had that coming. Um, let's go sing in the shower. <laughs> I can't believe I got a large pet poop! That's mean! Oh well. Oh well. And my fun is so low. Here, let's go maybe... I'm gonna play Blick Block or something. Oh wait, does, if I were to uh, practice singing, would I get my fun up? There we go. Play The Sims 4 for 24 hours. I've played The Sims 4 for 14 generations in this save. I think it resets every time you save as. So that might be... Why, it, is that why it does that? 
Because I promise I put more than 24 hours into this save. That achievement is like really busted. Um, but I, I think it has to do with like the save and the hours you've played in the save and that when you make a like new save by saving as, it resets it. So I think that that achievement is bugged based on the save as. Because again, we've played 14 generations of this, so <laughs> a lot more than 24 hours. Um, but weird. Weird. Save as thing makes sense though. Um, Oh, hey, Will. No, we had a great time at TwitchCon. Um, I'm so sorry we missed your message because you messaged asking if we were around literally like like five minutes after we had left the convention and started walking back to our hotel. Um, but we had a great time. Also, Sims Medieval, unhinged, hilariously funny. I think you would really like it. It's, it's really hilarious. It's very um, like quest based and stuff. Uh, it's really weird. You can like feed sims when you're playing as like the king You can send sims to this monster in a pit and it eats them alive Like you can send sims to death Iconic so chaotic so hilarious. I think you'd like it. Um, I I really enjoy the sims medieval so <laughs> It's really something else. It's really something else <laughs> um, Okay, everyone sleep keep sleeping my save game just want to get through the night. That is a rampaging werewolf ghost, yeah. Just ignore. Just ignore it. It's a constant nightmare around this house. Everything's broken. We got rampaging werewolves, like... Uh, you can get Sims Medieval on Origin, Elme. You gotta buy it. It's like $20. Um, it's a separate game, so... It's like a spin-off of The Sims 3. It runs on The Sims 3's, like, engine, so it looks kind of like The Sims 3, but it... Oh my god. But it isn't The Sims 3. Um, it's a separate no. game. No. And it honestly doesn't have much in common with The Sims 3. Um, it's really, really special. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sleep. Why is everyone doing this? Okay, you asleep. You asleep. I'm too tired for this. I just want a nice calm day. <laughs> Annie, Tori, Debbie, Ariel, thank you for the subs. You're fully convinced as you should be. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, save game again, just in case, with all these fires, we gotta be careful. Um, all right, all right. Why do I keep replacing the litter tray when there is no cat? Um, I'm not gonna just leave it burnt, Lily. I might not have a cat right now, but I'm gonna have a cat again soon, probably, so I'm, I might as well just leave it until I get another one. I had a cat, and then it died. So... Sorry that my first instinct wasn't to just get rid of it after the death of my best friend Whose name I kind of forget mustard mustard was my cat's name and they're dead So hello Sid. What's up? Um, okay Okay ba -ba -ba. You want to get some Is there no leftovers? Oh, no Okay, we gotta cook. We gotta cook. My best friend, whose name I kind of forget- Oh, we can't cook. Oh, we started a fire. Oh my god! <laughs> Can you just go to school? Are you going to school? Can you go to school? Can you put that out? This is too much. This is too much. Got your first med school rejection? Oh, Sid, I'm really sorry. That stinks. Um, I hope you're feeling all right. Is now a bad time to try and cook something? All my Sims are in a terrible mood. All right, I'm gonna make fruit salad. No fires can be started from that. Ooh, uh-oh. Fruit salad, party size. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just order like five pizzas from the fridge. Do you know what? That makes me want to order pizza in real life. Oh, you have work. Oh God, okay, you didn't finish cooking. There's still 25 schools you haven't heard from, so we're chilling. Okay, <laughs> you're good, you're all good. That sucks to hear back like with a not so good answer, but you're all good, you're all good. Um, okay, present suggestions, performance gain medium. Good. Okay, hopefully by Monday we can get promoted. 
Um, is Corn back? <gasps> Corn's back! Oh, such a relief. Such a relief. Okay, unfortunately, nobody is home to to talk to them. The dog. Exam results above average. It keeps saying that my exams are above average, but surely I haven't taken exams every day like this. So why is it saying that? Principal's calling again. Okay, corn is back. Maybe I'll wake up the dog and then bathe it. Stinky dog. Replace that. Oh, we're running low on money, actually. I've been, like, randomly replacing everything that burns in the fires, and I, now I'm running low. You have to pay for applying? Yeah, you have to pay, uh, generally a, a pretty hefty amount of money, um, to apply to universities. I'm not certain about, like, the cost of applying to med school. I couldn't tell you how much it costs, like, specifically, um, because I've never applied to med school, but, uh, in general, you have to pay for applications to school like that in the U.S., so... Um, it's probably expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunate. Highest you had to pay was $75. Yeesh, yeesh, that is a lot. Um, and that's like each. On average, med school costs $300 to apply. Really? Oh my god. Um, yikes, 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 yikes. Um, but yeah, in my experience, it depends on the school. Um, like different schools had different costs for applications. Generally, like, private school applications were, like, expensive compared to, like, a public university. Um, so, I, but I don't know. So, it, to give an example, like, UCF would cost less to apply to than, like, the University of Miami or whatever. Um, but I, I don't know. Um, so. And that's just to apply. <laughs> you might even get rejected. Um. No, you don't get a refund if you get rejected, no. Um, okay, let's make a garden salad, because that won't catch on fire. Just lovely. Alright, let's see if I can sell anything. Grave might have missed football, that's okay though. If we can sell any of this stuff... Um, ooh, maybe I'll put that in my yard. Um, we'll get a little bit of money back, so... Um, but, anyway. Anyway. I'm intrigued by the fact that you don't have to pay to, pl pay to apply, um, elsewhere. Um, but, um, I, I don't know much about applying to university, uh, and other places. Um, um, okay, sorry. <laughs> responding to message about a sponsor thing. Um, but... <laughs> pay to apply to in, some, in a lot of places where you're from? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, fascinating. UK, you pay a flat fee that covers all applications? Okay. I, I knew that about the UK, actually. But, um... That is, that is my uh, primary experience, though. I married a British man, so I do know some things about the UK. <laughs> um, Alright, do you want to go back and do another workout to try and get your skill up some more? That would be good. Simsy honorary Brit. Oh my god, don't call me that. Oh, Dan was joking earlier. Um, uh, obviously, uh, with the election coming up, a lot of people are talking about registering to vote and stuff. The last they registered to vote in Florida pre uh, the upcoming election was yesterday. But we've been getting like notifications on Instagram. Instagram being like, hey, register to vote, check your registration, which is good. But Dan even gets them. <laughs> and Dan is not a citizen. Um, so he cannot vote and won't be able to vote for a long time. <laughs> But even Instagram is telling him, which, I mean, it's just rubbing it in, isn't it? But, um, Dan's getting a lot of notifications about it on his phone, even. And he cannot, <laughs> so... Um, but that made me giggle earlier when I saw it, so... Thought you'd like it. But anyway, he's not a citizen, so he can't vote. <laughs> a lot of people, um, are under the impression that he can. I get a lot of questions about that, like, in my chat. They're like, is Dan gonna vote? Blah, blah, blah. But I don't think people understand, like, the immigration process or the, like, citizenship thing, um, which is valid. If you never experienced it, how would you know? But, 
Um, no, non-citizens cannot vote. He's only a legal permanent resident, so he can't. Um, he cannot. Okay, you want to finish this now, I guess? Okay. Oh, is the hot tub broken again? Oh no, maybe I'll come try and repair it. Actually, maybe I'll have you come try and repair it. See if you can build some skills from it. Um. <laughs> nice and disgusting in there. Would love to go swimming in there. Um. Oh, queen, thanks. I really appreciate that. Um, or maybe he'll get electrocuted. So why would you say that? We can't have this sim die. I need him. He's very important. Okay, use bathroom, sing and shower. Disgusting hot tub. I need to feel something. I want death. Oh my god, Christine. Well, Hayden's gonna die soon. When are you going to stream the Nightmare Legs Challenge again? Uh, Mushroom, I don't stream the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Um... Uh, I only do it on YouTube, and I'm gonna post a video on it tomorrow, but I, I don't uh, stream that. That's my YouTube series. This is my Twitch series that we're playing right now. The Nightmare Legacy, the Bell Family, that's my YouTube one. They're separate. So. Um, no, we haven't had a death in a while because um, we've been playing on normal lifespan, so it, things move a bit slower. But I can try and put Hayden in the pond. You want me to? That happened faster than I intended. I didn't realize it was gonna happen first go. Oh dear, okay. You asked for this. She was gonna die, she's very old. Oh, look, the bar is almost full. She probably had like two days left. Oh dear, okay. Um. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is always how this happens to me, yeah. Um, literally every time. Every single time. I say, hee hee, I'll just test it and see what happens. Dead. <sighs> Are you terrified? Fear the reaper from fear of death? Is that the reaper? Why is the reaper getting closer? Oh my god, so she died in fear? Oh my god, her final moments were terrible. I feel bad! That's actually so sad! Oh, I didn't even try to plead for her either. Oh god. And Christine gifted five subs because I killed a sim! <laughs> you all go, Christine! <laughs> um, this is my second alien grave. What should I say? Um, blame the tomato, Mrs. Tomato. Well, I said I wanted less Sims, <laughs> so that's good too, I guess. It'll be a bit more peaceful around here in the house. Um, well now we don't have an alien anymore. It's okay, she was gonna die soon. She was an elder. We've been like wanting her to die for a while, so it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh no. Is that our, like, what, 74th grave? Hmm, yeah, it is. That's lovely stuff. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Stop complaining about the ghost and go back to sleep. No, aliens are part of Get to Work, not Strangerville. Um, they came with Get to Work. So, all right, everyone's asleep. We're having a nice evening. I have actually been wanting her to die since the kids were born, to be perfectly honest with you. I've been waiting for this moment. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, Mia and Amber and Charlotte, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay, anyway, anyway. Check the dog. Oh, the dog is, well, I think it was like hungry, but that's not my fault because there's food out for you. 
so we'll try again later. The house is on the gallery, Kate. Yeah, I built it a couple months ago, but it is on the gallery, so. Kayla, I don't know if I should be afraid of you or not. <laughs> Why? Whatever have I done? Oh, I did not set the thermostat. No, that's true. Um, I never fixed it. Maybe I'll come fix it now. Set it to be warmer. Um, all right, fix that, problem solved. Um, okay, maybe we can come eat something. Get leftovers, sure. We could probably make a grave counter command. Now that I think about it, maybe I'll make, I've got my bot open, so maybe I'll make one right now. If it would load. Grave. Graves. 74. Simsy rip. Yes. <laughs> okay. And that one we can obviously manually update because it, I mean, it's not like we're going to have so many happening. All right. That's pretty good. Nice work, chat. Nice work, chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Daisy, Mally, Cricket, thank you for the resubs. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, the alien's gone. Dead. Dead. So. Oh, bag of fish. Thanks for saying that. I have loved seeing people come in chat and be like, hey, it was so nice to meet you this weekend. I got to meet a lot of people this weekend at TwitchCon. It was pretty cool. I saw a lot of you. Um, Oh no, Soap, I'm so sorry you missed much of my streams. That stinks. It's weird how notifications like do that. They like turn themselves off and stuff. Um, but hopefully it's uh, back and fixed. That sucks. Um, but anyway, anyway. All right, Chibi, you weren't even there. Also, my water is empty. Just ice. It's okay. I'll get off stream kind of soon anyway, but. Yeah, TwitchCon was a couple days ago. I got back home on Monday, Mushroom. Um, so I was at the convention over the weekend. Um, so that was fun. That was fun. Okay, do you have work today or are you, you're off? Okay, you're off on Fridays. So you need to come work out and try and max that skill then. Um, no, and you're enraged. Okay, so you won't do it? Rage fueled run? No, oh, you're crying because your wife died. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I suppose that checks out. Yeah, I can't really blame you for that one. Um, in fact, I can blame myself because it was me who did it. Go back. You're so close to maxing it. Come on. Look at that. I just want to max it so I could get my final promotion. Go back and work out. Oh my goodness. You take so long. Try to contribute. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Keep coming. Oh my god, you're so close. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. The fact they keep falling. There we go. I was gonna say, you're so close to maxing the fitness skill and they still keep falling like that. That's actually so embarrassing. All right. Do you want to go potty outside? Maybe I'll try and take care of you. Did the dog ever get potty trained? No, not until just now. Okay. Maybe I'll try and play with the dog a little bit. Uh, kiss? Praise? Play? Oh, they are clumsy. That's true. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they are clumsy. That's my bad. You're not wrong. Oops. Yeah, they do have the clumsy trait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're gonna age up into an elder in three days. That's actually gonna make me so sad. I'm I'm gonna be really devastated by that when that happens. I won't lie. All right, let's make a BLT or something. Um, okay, come on. I still want pizza now because of the people in chat that were bringing it up earlier. I really should not order food. 
Yes. That's a terrible idea. Like I just got back from traveling. I had to eat out so much. I should not order food. But now I really want pizza. <laughs> so thanks a lot. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna try and make a few meals. Um, maybe a gourmet meal this time. Fruit and yogurt parfait, that won't catch on fire, that's good. Uh-oh. Principal's calling. Principal's calling you too? Why is performance so bad? Do better. Work on your project. You can make pizza. That's true, I have some, oh, I don't think I have any sauce. I don't know if I can make pizza. I made pizza a couple weeks ago. Last week? I made pizza last week. So. Um, but I don't have like any sauce. I need to order groceries. And I don't really want to go into the grocery store. I'm really, really paranoid about being sick after the convention. I don't feel sick, but I'm really worried about getting sick. Yeah, like from scratch, a little Zika, yeah. Um, I made pizza dough and everything. I've got like, like yeast and flour so I can make the dough um but I don't want to go to the grocery store because I'm really worried about being sick and getting someone sick so I'm isolating and taking a bajillion COVID tests just in case so um anyway <laughs> anyway maybe I'll order some groceries and get some sauce and I can make pizza tomorrow that would be good um But, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, Sasha tested positive for COVID, which <laughs> is part of why I'm so extremely worried because I always spent a lot of time with Sasha. But beyond that, I spent a lot of time with the people that Sasha spent a lot of time with. So <laughs> whoever gave Sasha COVID, I was probably around too. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was still feeling okay. And she was feeling bad yesterday, but. I'll obviously keep you all posted. Um, I've been testing the whole time. Like I was testing before I even got there every day while I was there. Like I've been so paranoid about it. Um, but obviously you can't do anything. I was at a convention, so I don't know. Hopefully I don't get sick, but. Oh, I'm missing football practice again. That's fine. I'll skip it. I'm not going to dinner with you. You're an alien, or an alien, a vampire, sorry. Um, but anyway. Anyway, this is the thing. People always get sick after conventions just anyway, let alone at a time like this, um, which is worrisome, but I don't know. Hopefully we're okay. I'm having a lot of anxiety about it. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, okay. Parenting level five, okay. You finished that, that's good. Hopefully you'll get your uh, skills up a little bit and your grades up a little bit. Let's come. We'll work out and try and get our fun up. He's going to age up in three days, which is pretty soon. Storm has the single and loving it lifestyle. You're only a teen. How? <laughs> I feel like that's not, that's not, that doesn't make any sense. Not dating anyone as a teen doesn't, I don't think equates to having the single and loving it lifestyle. I didn't date anyone when I was in high school. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Bird, Hannah, Trembling, Soap, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, well, anyway, that's funny though, I guess. Um. All right, all right. Put that away, maybe you should just go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow we can try and go on a date. That could be fun. The dog is upset. Maybe I'll ask you to go potty just in case you need to pee. Yes, very good. Maybe I'll play with you for a sec and then go to sleep. I was gonna try and put the alien to bed, but the alien's not here. Cause she died. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I got this astronaut statue because of my Sims in the astronaut career. So that's where it came from. Pretty fun. Auto lights, all lights. 
Okay. Poor alien whose name I didn't catch. Oh no. Her name was Hayden and she is dead. So. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You're awake at 5 a.m.? Not bad. Not bad. Um. Okay. Okay. Birds say how they flew subs also. Um. Oh gosh, Fern, I hope you're okay. I hope you're feeling better and you got all your school stuff sorted. That just stinks. Um, all right. Go use bathroom. Hurry up. Hurry up. Maybe don't use that. Actually, don't use that toilet. Stop, stop, stop. <sighs> I regretted it immediately because I was worried it was going to catch fire, but it didn't catch fire, so that's good. All right, you're up. Use bathroom, take shower. We'll probably eat something and then I'm going to go on a date. Um, that'll be good. A sim did pass away, yeah. My sim's alien mom, she died in the pond because I put her in the pond. So. That was my bad, actually. But, brighten day. Apologize. Talk about cooking. So. Um, you know, Tiffany, uh, <laughs> Uh, Tiffany asked, how are things in Florida after the storm? Are things getting back to normal? Um, it depends where you are in Florida. <laughs> Obviously, in a lot of places that didn't get hit hard, everything's okay, you know? Um, if you're, like, on the Gulf Coast, where the storm hit more directly, like Naples, Fort Myers area, things are not gonna be back to normal for a really, really, really long time. Um, like, my grandma's house, her condo, totally flooded out, destroyed completely. They had to rip everything out of it. Like, uh, the, even the drywall, like, up to, like, as tall as I am, basically, had to be ripped out. Like, things are not gonna be back to normal for a really long time. Um, I'm not, I don't mean to laugh. It's just uncomfortable, you know, how those sort of situations are. But, um, I, we were really lucky in Orlando to not have it so bad. Like, I had a tree fall down in my backyard, you know, like, but I'm okay, my house is okay. Um, something else that's really worrisome about the Orlando area is that it flooded really bad here and it doesn't usually flood in storms like that in Orlando. Um, so people don't really have flood insurance. If you're not like in a flood zone and you don't think you're gonna get flooded in a hurricane because you're in central Florida, like some places are obviously are in flood zones, but a lot of areas that have literally never flooded ever before flooded and people don't have flood insurance because they don't need it. Like they, they weren't told to get it. They don't have a reason to get it. It's never flooded here. And then their house is flooded in Orlando where it was not expected to flood and they don't have flood insurance. Um, and that's not covered like in hurricane insurance. Like um, the insurance companies don't wanna cover you. They'll prove like if it was the groundwater rising, sorry, like we're not covering it. Um, so that's a big problem that's gonna be affecting a lot of people here where we are. Um, which is really scary. No, we don't have like houses on stilts in Orlando, not in central Florida. It doesn't flood like that from storms here. The flooding that you see from hurricanes like on the coast is like storm surge, like the, the water levels of the ocean rising and flooding. Um, but we don't really have that in F central Florida, obviously. Um, so we don't really have to worry about flooding in storms like this as much. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot, of people, a lot of people in central Florida don't have flood insurance. Um, so that's really scary. Um, and obviously insurance companies are real good about not covering things. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna go on to see if Nadia wants to hang out, so. Let's go find out. Maybe she will invite me out? Yes? Oh, to her house. Ooh. Ooh. Um, but yeah, a lot of houses are on stilts or maybe raised up, like, by the coast where that kind of thing happens more, but not everywhere. Um. No, son, I'm, I'm from Florida. I grew up in Florida. I've lived here my entire life. I, well, I lived here when I was four, but I've been in Florida forever, so. I moved from one part of Orlando to a different part of Orlando. Like, I didn't move that far, so. Um, but. Oh, your house is fancy. Good to know. Um, good to know. Um, okay. Okay. Let me see if I can talk to you more. Oh, you're dazed? Oh, is it like a juiced community, maybe? 
Um, I don't know. But anyway, it's really scary. <laughs> so, um, the other thing that's been really, really upsetting to me, I like the way that um, like the hurricane like blew up on TikTok because obviously people that were experiencing it were posting about it. Not their fault. It's like the fact that it was being pushed so much to people that don't know anything about this and that have never experienced it and never will experience it that were like running their stupid little mouths and saying like, oh, you should have done this. You should, why do you live there? Like saying stuff like that to people who lost their house has made me so angry. Like being on TikTok the past couple of weeks and seeing those sorts of comments has just filled me with such rage. Like you're gonna go onto a video of a person showing off their house that was completely destroyed and you're gonna say, well, you shouldn't have lived there. What? What? As if, okay, they were born there. Their family has always lived there. Should they have just moved according to you? As if it's that easy? And they'll even like shame people for not evacuating as if a they had enough time to evacuate the storm obviously changes direction so you think it's not going to come to you and then it does but also by the time that you learn that you think you can just up and leave leave first of all where florida is a straight line so everyone is going the same direction out of the state like so extreme traffic, there's no time. You need to have money to be able to afford to do that. Like you need to be able to buy all that gas and also hotels and stuff. People don't have that. It's just like they, they open and run their mouths about things they don't understand. And I cannot believe that you are judging people who experienced a natural disaster like that. Like, why is that your reaction to that? Why is that you see this and you think, oh, I'm gonna post a mean comment judging you and saying like, oh, you did it to yourself. Like, just people on the internet are so unbelievable. Like, I actually can't believe that they act like this. I mean, I can, because it's the internet, but like, it's just shocking that you would talk to someone like that, you know? I'm so, so glad they will never experience anything like that, you know? So glad they'll never experience anything like that. But, I don't know. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, heartless, heartless and cruel. Discuss fears of death. Ooh, yikes. That actually sucks. His mom died and now he's gonna go discuss death with this random sin. <laughs> oh, his mom literally got eaten by sharks. That is rough. Oh, did you age up? Oh, I can't date you yet because I'm still a, only a teen. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be a young adult in a couple days, so we could date her then. How old am I? Where is it? I'm lost. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Two days. That's fine. That's fine. Am I going to make a video about the update? Yeah, I posted one today. Um, I posted a video on the Sims update today. I didn't make one yesterday because I was too busy, but I made one uh, today on the Sims update, so... Um, oh god, I wonder if she has the neat trait. Oh no. Um, we were gonna try and- Oh, we, sh we weren't gonna marry her, were we? But if she does have the neat trait, maybe we could. Play Coral Island? We did play it yesterday, Solar. We played it yesterday. Um. Perfectionist, squeamish, proper, and Strangerville aspiration. Alright, we won't be getting married. We won't be getting married, um, but, um, well, that's the thing, Jake. I can't believe that people, like, s speak like that to people. Like, oh, just move. What? What? They said that to people about all kinds of things. Beyond, like, the natural disaster risk, it'll be like, oh, you don't like the politics of your state? Just move. What? As if it's easy to up and move to a different state, even if you have money. That's the like main limiting factor. But even if you have money, as if it is so simple to just move, like what are you talking about? And think about who you're saying that to. It is so prohibitively expensive to do that, but also your whole life is where you are. Maybe your family's there, your friends there, your job is there. Like you can't just move to a different state. It's not that simple. Like, I, I can't believe that people say stuff like that to people. Like, 
anyway, um, such a privileged take, but. <laughs> anyway, Assyria is facing love for all people, sexual subs and bits. <laughs> like, ugh. Oh, alas. It's just people on the internet being dumb and not thinking. Anyway, I suppose a lot of them are young as well that are saying stuff like that and they don't like realize, I guess, but, or they are old and they do realize, but they don't care because they're privileged and they don't know the difference or whatever, but, um, but yeah, a lot of like old people say that though. So easy for them to say. I can't move. I need my mom. <laughs> Let's be real for a second. I can't move. <laughs> I need my parents' help still. <laughs> okay. Let's go use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway. Um. Oh, Hope, I'm really sorry. That just stinks. Um, I can't move. I need my parents' help still as a vibe and a mood. I need my dad. See, there he is. <laughs> we were talking about, um, how ridiculous it is, dad, that people will, like, respond to someone who lost their house in the hurricane and be like, we well, shouldn't have lived there. You should have just moved. And how, like, privileged of a take that is. But then I was also joking about how I can't move because I need my parents' help too much still. And it's true. My mom's here too! My mom said, yay, you need me with a resub message! <laughs> Are you both like sat there watching my stream together in the living room? I can picture it. Yay, you need me, <laughs> she says. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me come invite the sim in so I can get my gift. It's true though. It is true. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, nope. You're not watching together? Oh, you're watching separately. That's it. Why is that even funnier? My mom's like in the kitchen cooking dinner. Who knows where my dad is? They both have my stream up on their phones. No, that's even funnier that they're watching separately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, Lily, thank you for the nine month reset, by the way. That's really funny. Okay, did you bring my gift? Give it. I want my present and I want it now. Just went to check house prices in my town and there's a castle for sale. Is it on Zillow Gone Wild perhaps? There, sometimes you find the, the silliest things when you're looking at homes nearby. Zillow is really a fun place to browse. <laughs> you come across the the darndest things, don't you? <laughs> what kind of castle are we talking? Because that's a scary image. Like, I fear it. So. Uh, Davis, this sim, they are an adult almost elder. Uh, I guess they're wearing kind of young clothes and they're super ripped right now because they had to max the fitness skill for work. Um, so that's probably why they look kind of young, but they're going to be an elder in literally two days. So did I see the whale house you put in mods earlier? You put a whale house in mods earlier? No, I did not see that. I missed that one. A <laughs> whale house? What does that mean? I'll have to look at it later. IDK, how you missed it? It's a whole whale house? I've not really been on Discord much today. Um, I've been kind of busy. So I, I, I've been like popping in from time to time and only catching like one thing. So I've not really been around much. <laughs> Is it from your province? Really, Kirby? That's hilarious. A whale house. Wow. Whale themed, whale shaped. What does that mean? Truly, what does that mean? Hmm. If you don't follow Zillow Gone Wild, by the way, they're like on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. It's a fun account to follow because they share like 
really wild house listings. Um, like it's uh, of all sorts, like things like this whale house you'd probably see, but like sometimes there'll be a castle. I mean, just like the most wacky wild things you've ever seen. They're on like social media, it's probably Facebook too, I don't know, but look them up because you'll enjoy it. <laughs> it's a fun one. <laughs> I follow a few um, like house accounts like that. There's one called Cheap Old Houses on Instagram that I like too. And there's one called Historical Homes that I also like. They just share like listings of um, cheap old houses and also historical homes. Different vibes though. Cause the Cheap Old Houses one is like one that's like run down and needs renovated. And it's like cheap, but like really old cool houses with hair character. And the Historical Homes one sometimes is very expensive. <laughs> They're old, sometimes cheap, sometimes not cheap. So, um, but it's their cool Instagram accounts. So, um, if you, if you're into like houses and that kind of thing, it's kind of fun to see. So, um, I like, I like to see stuff like that. I just like houses. <laughs> I follow a lot of like, um, like interior design people on Instagram and like, uh, I don't know, a lot of DIY house people on Instagram. I just, that's like my, my thing on Instagram. I love seeing accounts like that. So, um, I've always loved that kind of stuff. Okay. Are you crying yourself to sleep? I'm sorry. I feel bad. Um, that makes me feel really guilty. Go do your homework. Oh, you probably don't have to cause you're going to age up soon. Never mind. How about you go? Oh, rare plants. Wait, open that seed packet. Ew, confident magic bean. Should I plant it? I can't. Okay, that's weird. Um, Victoria, I'm so, sorry, I was reading your message. I said Victoria. No, Florida has some like older Victorian style and Queen Anne style homes in some areas. Not in a lot of areas. A lot of, um, like central Florida where I live in Orlando specifically, there's a few like old neighborhoods and old parts of town and stuff, but um, certainly a lot of Orlando has been built up like really recently. So there's like a lot of houses built in like the nineties <laughs> and they're like, like, um, like poorly made Mediterranean style homes. Um, not a lot of like beautiful architecture, you know? <laughs> Um, but there's some like cute craftsmen's in Orlando, like downtown. There's a couple neighborhoods of cute old houses and stuff too, which is kind of fun. It's definitely around, but it's certainly not like the most common thing. There's not a lot of historical areas, um, but there's some small pockets. So, um, but anyway, <laughs> if little Simsy blinks, it is my sign to transfer schools. Oh, Laundra, this is what you need. Take this sign, do what you need to do. Take care of yourself. Oh, this beans for the tree stump. That's right. I remember now. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, uh, I don't know. Interesting sorts of homes around these parts. Maybe I have this cute selfie from when I, oh, that is so cute from prom, the siblings together. He has one too by himself from the other prom where he also won prom jester. As a kid, you drew all floor plans to houses on sheets of paper. So yes, I also used to do that. Oh God, not prom again. This is my third prom. Is it actually gonna take me? I think it glitched and it's not taking me. That's okay. I don't need to go. I've been twice. No way. No way. Anyway, I love that sort of thing. Do you know what else I love? I love, um, I'm not so good at city skylines, but I, I really like watching city skylines videos. City skylines is a city builder. Um, so you can like lay out roads and neighborhoods and stuff. And I always used to like draw that kind of thing and like envision that in my head. And that was why I loved the Sims so much is to like run my neighborhood. Like I loved that aspect of it. So I really like watching city builder games. I'm not so good at city skylines because uh, the traffic part throws me off. Like I'm not really good at traffic management. Um, I like to just like draw it out and like, I, I would literally do it all like on pause if I had to. Like, I, I love that kind of thing. Just like laying out a city. Um, 
And then the traffic always foils me because I'm not that good at the traffic management. <laughs> but I love watching City Skylines YouTube videos because I love that like city builder aspect. I think it's so creative and so fun. Um, is that what you like about it is the traffic management? Oh, Anna, me and you should like link up and play together then. <laughs> you can do the traffic, I'll do the rest. <laughs> but I love like how they'll, they'll like lay out like a apartment complex or like make like a, I watched, um, there's this YouTuber called City Planner Plays who makes really fun videos. And he did like a whole like, um, like golf course uh, setup. And then he had like a resort on it, but also a neighborhood surrounding it. And then he has like, you know, like um, downtown, like denser housing and like a historic district. I just love the, the realism of that. Like having like this area is like this. And then out further out, we've got like this golf course with these homes on the water that are really expensive. And I just, um, I really, really like that. I think it's so fun. I love the playing pretend creativity aspect of that. If you like that kind of thing, City Planner Plays makes really good YouTube videos. Like his videos are really fun. I think you'd like them. And he's literally a city planner, like in real life. So he's really smart and like good at it. <laughs> um, and he like talks through his process a lot, um, which is pretty cool. Cause you like get insight into the realism of it. And I just think it's fun. So I like his videos. Um, and he has like some good tutorial stuff for City Skylines too, that you probably like, but. Um, you just watched my VOD where I talked about him and subbed yesterday? No way. I haven't talked about him in a while either, I think. So that's kind of fun. Um, weird coincidence. But there's his link. Bruin put it in chat. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like his videos. So I have a lot of good things to say about his channel. So, um, oh, I've got a good reputation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll try and serve up some more food. Oh my God, I forgot that it's New Year's Eve. Oh, I should set resolutions. Oopsies. Okay, um, make a resolution. How about a resolution to get a significant other? And yours can be to honestly raise a skill. And yours can be to get promoted because that's what I need to do to finish your not so berry challenge. Um, and I don't need to set one for the alien because she is dead. <laughs> yeah, James plays a lot of City Skylines too. James is the reason that I started liking City Skylines because on his Flavaliki channel, his second channel, James Turner, formerly known as The Sim Supply, um, he makes a lot of City Skylines content there and I used to be obsessed. I would like totally binge watch it. Like I just loved it. Um, so. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I like City Skylines a lot. That's the moral of the story here. Um, oh no, I've been live for about three hours. I had to restart the stream. Um, so it cut off um, like an hour ago. So the time, the VOD length is kind of messed up, but. Um, okay, everyone go to sleep. We'll get off stream in a few minutes here. Um, Tess and Savannah and Danny and Matt, uh, Meme and Abigail, thank you for the subs. Um, <laughs> Sleep through the night. New Year's Eve successful. Very nice. Save game, perhaps. Um, James's first and second cities are mine. I want to go to there, really. <laughs> yeah, I loved those back in the day. That was fun. Um, anyway, I've always liked James' videos. He's part of the reason why I started making my own videos. So it's kind of fun. All right, everyone sleep through the night, please. I have so many ghosts. It's like, we can't even speed up. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, hurry up. Come along, come along. Even Dan used to watch James's Sims 3 builds. This is kind of funny because Dan didn't watch like any Sims videos ever, like until he met me. But way back in the day, he used to watch James play The Sims 3 because James was doing this series. It was called The Luna Isle. I'm sure some of you remember it, um, where he was like building a world. So The Sims 3 had a wor world builder um, where you could like literally create a, like imagine if you could make new crests, like you could just build like a world. You could do that in The Sims 3. Um, and James had a series where he was doing that and like building lots for all of it. Dan had seen that, like like Dan was watching that ages ago and then stopped watching James, didn't watch any other Simmers 
and then he met me. But it's just kind of funny that like years and years later, like Dan apparently used to watch James's videos. Like it's just kind of a fun small world because he didn't really watch Sims or even like Dan didn't even play Sims really. Like he wasn't like a simmer. He never was. Um, but um, anyway, have Dan and James met IRL? <sighs> No, they have, yeah, at TwitchCon in 2019. Um, they would have met at TwitchCon in 2019, so yes. I'm sat here like, I haven't seen James or Deli in person in so long, but they would have met at TwitchCon in 2019, so yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny though. But yeah, I'm probably gonna play Coral, Coral Island again. I'm gonna play it this weekend, I think, uh, Hid, probably. I'm looking forward for them to keep releasing updates and finishing the game up some more. Um, oh, did Honey leave things in the barbecue and then go to work? Oops. Where did you go? Wait. You're not even at work. Is this like a workaholic thing? Oh my god, come back. Oh, you're so annoying. Finish the veggie burgers. What is wrong with you? Yeah, they went, they went into work because of, um... They did it again. I hate, I hate, hate the workaholic thingy. I don't have UI cheats on right now because I disabled mods with the update, but I'll, I'll put it back on uh, when I get off stream. I will literally do it right now. I don't think that uh, UI cheats or MC Command Center broke, so we could just re-enable. Then when we reload later, it'll be back. That is so annoying. So annoying. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna get off stream here in a sec. Let me save the game. Um, We'll be back tomorrow. We're actually gonna play, um, we're actually gonna play Dreamlight Valley tomorrow, I think. I've been waiting for this. I've had to wait days before I could play again. <laughs> I was so obsessed before I left for TwitchCon and then I had to wait. But I'm really excited to, um, to play Dreamlight Valley again. We're gonna play tomorrow. Um, they don't have a release date for when it's gonna be free, Pudge, unfortunately. At some point next year. Um, but, um, You've never played Sims? Oh my gosh, Hid, well, good news for you. It, the base game's gonna be free next week. Next Tuesday, uh, the 18th, the Sims 4 base game is going to be free. Um, so anyone can play the base game free starting next week. So uh, good to know. Don't buy it. Wait until next week, it'll come out for free. Um, also, those of you that didn't grab it already, the court, nope, the Desert Lux kit, I keep getting the courtyard one and the desert one confused. The desert Lux kit is free to anyone who already owns the Sims 4 base game. So if you have the Sims 4 right now and you haven't gone and like grabbed the desert Lux kit, go and do it now. Like open up Origin, add it to your cart, get it on PlayStation, whatever you have it. Go get that desert Lux kit as fast as you can. Um, it's, it's obviously gonna stop being free next week when the like sale ends and the uh, the deal is over, but you can like buy the kit for zero dollars. So go do that right now if you haven't done it yet. Go get your your desert Lux kit. <sighs> I call it the wrong thing like every time. Um, but go, go, go. Run and get it before you forget. Um, put like a reminder in your phone or something. Literally, um, literally just go and, and grab it because it's free until October 17th. So make sure you don't forget to do it. Um, so that you can uh, add it to your library and get it for free and stuff. It's actually a pretty nice kit. It's got some really good stuff in it, so I think you'll like it. Um, but I keep trying to remind people so they don't forget and they don't miss out on the deal because it's it's like basically on sale for a hundred percent off, which is great. Um, okay, well I think I think I'm gonna go find somebody to raid. Um, 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 um. Oh, you know what, my friend Emrys is playing Coral Island, and you know how I feel about Coral Island. It only came out like yesterday, um, and it's really fun. <laughs> I kind of want to go watch Emrys play. Um, so I might go send you all over there if you want to go say hi for me. Um, this'll be fun. This'll be really, really fun. Coral Island is like a farming simulator. Um, it's like a farm game. If you enjoy things like Animal Crossing, The Sims, specifically Stardew Valley, you'll probably like that game. Um, cozy, cute. Huge worlds, by the way. When you see the world the size of the map and stuff, you're gonna die. It's enormous, it's so cool. Um, Emrys is great as well. Um, 
So, uh, let's go and say hello, yes? Emrys uses they, he pronouns, by the way, just so you all know when we get over there. Um, say hi for me, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. We're gonna play a little bit of Coral Island tomorrow, I think. So, have the best, best, best rest of your night. I love you. I miss you already. Okay, okay. Goodbye! <laughs> and stop stream.